Good afternoon. I'm Rajul Pandya Loach with IFPRI. I'm very pleased to welcome all of you to the IFPRI DGO PIC Brown Bag Seminar today on uh, uh, Toward a Theory of Resilience for International Development Applications. It's very fitting that we hold this seminar at this time. As many of you know, we have just begun planning for our next 2020 conference and consultation, which is on building resilience for food and nutrition security. As we started to think about that, we realized we have a major expert in our midst to who can help us to think through, to conceptualize, to think through some of the key issues and how to frame this. So I'm very, very happy, Chris, that you accepted our invitation. You're back from Australia, a perfect timing for us, and that you're here to share with us your theory that you've developed together with your co-author, Mark Costas. There's a body of theory on resilience and engineering in ecology and psychology, but nothing that really applies to our particular suite of problems focused around the reduction of poverty and improvements in food security. And so resilience here could simply be defined as a relatively high likelihood of being non-poor. Now that's going to sound an awful lot like measuring chronic poverty and thinking about intertemporal measures of poverty. And there's a reason for that, because I think that's really what should be at heart of thinking about resilience in a development context. Now, to be very clear, we economists haven't got intertemporal measurement of poverty down by any stretch of the imagination. This is very contested terrain among people who are real specialists in poverty measurement. But the concepts are fairly clear. We're interested in the path dynamics of well-being, and we're interested in uh, in particular for development, well-being that falls below some poverty line or some focal point. You know, you could use any of a variety of poverty lines. So this is about stochastic dynamics, the standards of living. The normative implication here is that we prioritize the avoidance of and the escape from, and let me emphasize and the escape from, chronic poverty. There is a way of putting a pro-poor focus at the heart of resilience by focusing on what does it take to change the likelihood, the duration, the intensity of the experience of poverty. And we can measure this at scale, multiple scales. The Foster Greer Thorbeck type tools of decomposable poverty measures carry through directly. Um, this creates an enormous project, obviously. This is. Uh, a big research agenda, not just around fleshing out the theory we've sketched out here, but in particular about taking this now into measurement and monitoring and evaluation and resulting programming prioritization. You know, where's the biggest bang for the buck in improving resilience if you take uh, sustained reduction in poverty as, as your core principle? But the start here, I would argue, is we need a firm theoretical foundation we're hoping to stimulate some dialogue around that, maybe even have something like this wind up being a reasonably broadly accepted theoretical foundation. From there, we can proceed with measurement with a, a common vision in mind. 